Next, a story new at 10. The use of social media continues to explode. In fact, two thirds of U.S. adults who are online use some form of social media. That's according to a recent survey. And tonight, News 3's Andy Choi examines how all of those new tools apply to potentially finding romance of all things. That's right. Now, we know it resh it's reshaping the way all of us communicate, but when the old rules of engagement fade into distant memories, the question quickly becomes, are these social media tools ruining romance? Depends on who you ask. Where the whisper of autumn meets winter's chill. What were you doing today that kept you late? Kelsey Vanderstein hopes to warm up to her date Rob over dinner. Mussels and clams with garlic and olive oil. Do you like mussels and clams? Flip through the romance menu and you might start with a glass of small talk. I'm a nurse. I have a stressful job. Order up a plate of good humor <laughs> yeah. and share a little honesty for dessert. I love the fact that you're kind and, and fun and down to earth. A classic recipe for romance. <clears throat> Sounds wonderful, but who's got the time for it? Yeah. The process of meeting people has changed. UW sociology professor John Delamater says finding the one <laughs> is now an afterthought among most young adults. We've created this this period of five or six years where you're kind of single, more career oriented, and you don't want to get into a committed relationship. Yeah, there's no time for boys. Sad. <laughs> so when no, UW freshman Raven Folker and friends find a few fleeting minutes for boys, those minutes are spent where else? <laughs> On Facebook, Twitter, text message, just about anything with a screen. Start out with MySpace in like middle school when I was like 12 or 11 and like kind of just grown up with it and then switched to Facebook. And so it's just always been there and it's always been like a part of social life. I think it provides a great avenue for like flirting and like the whole the whole poking thing. Even the guys are aware of today's digital dating game. Ask UW senior Brian Phelps about how he met his girlfriend. First time I found out she was interested she sent, accidentally sent me a text she meant to send a friend. That was about me. Students say you must have text appeal, and Cupid's Arrow needs at least a 3G connection. Mine is usually wherever I can get service. That's my texting strategy. I, I have a terrible cell phone company, so that really does hurt my game, in all, in all honesty. Heaven forbid today's tech-savvy suitors meet face-to-face. -face. They still do that? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Louise Summers remembers the early days of social media. Sort of. We had the telephone. <laughs> the 93-year-old's memoir showcased the days of the handwritten love note. I have received a few, yeah. <laughs> you like to have a fellow that's cool and kind of with it. Phil Porter says there's nothing really cool about minute-by-minute -minute status updates. What you do, how you live, how the children act, what they ate, what your husband ate. Who wants to let everybody know when you bite on a peanut? Or a <laughs> you know? Once you guys are Facebook friends, then you start learning a little bit more about them. Goodness, I can't believe how dull that is. <laughs> Facebook, can't you come up with something more creative than that? But before you unfriend the idea of finding love electronically. Who made the first move? A little bird played a big role. You sent out a tweet. Bringing together Nurse Kelsey and R. Vandersteen. We got engaged in June, and then we got married the next April. So in under two years, we went from meeting to getting married. More like tweeting to getting married, Rob and Kelsey are redefining the rules of PDA. You waited four dates to do a first kiss, though, which was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Rob didn't want us to air that, but uh, sorry, Rob. A 2011 study from the Pew Research Center found out out of those who use social media, only 3% are using these sites primarily for dating, so still a new concept. We asked Luis and Phyllis if the greatest generation had any courtship advice for today's smartphone generation. They say take it slow and leave a little mystery into the romance. Don't reveal it all. <laughs> Luis oh, does not want to know if you ate a peanut. <laughs> no, I don't blame her either. But whatever works, right? Whatever works. Thanks, Good Andy. Good stuff, Andy. Thank you.